Uh, you think... You think that the cold and flu season is over, and you'd probably be right, but there's no season for a pandemic. Apparently, we found that out in 1918. The deadliest day for our deadliest virus was November 23rd. So 99 years later, how much do we know about it, and how much more prepared would we be if it happened again? Here's Mike Thorpe. <laughs> Nineteen eighteen, the end of the war in Europe and the beginning of a deadly battle on our own shores. It was a forgotten event in New Zealand history for 50 years or so. It was New Zealand's worst public health disaster. As the troop ships brought our soldiers home, those men unknowingly brought a foreign invader, the Spanish flu. So they went home, spread the length and breadth of the country, and a couple of weeks later, boom. And in those days, of course, nobody knew anything about viruses. <laughs> they all thought it was germs or bacteria. Um, some people thought it was plague because the bodies turned black on death. And I think a lot of people died in 1918 simply because people didn't know what to do. From spring until summer, families were decimated. Six and a half thousand New Zealand children lost one or both parents. More than 9,000 New Zealanders died. It wasn't the flu that killed people, it was the secondary pneumonia. They couldn't keep up with the deaths. If you forgive the pun, the undertakers were overwhelmed. But despite the chaos, the country kicked into action. This is one of the improvised inhalation chambers in Christchurch. It's actually the bike shed at the back of the government buildings. Of course, a lot has changed since then. Medication is readily available and we have a national emergency plan. But in some areas, we're no better off. One of the problems back then, which is still a problem, is overcrowding. We have sort of more than one family in the same house. 99 years on, could it happen again? It is absolutely a case of when, not if. We will have another pandemic. Dr Nikki Turner's grim message comes after an average cold and flu season that still saw 3,500 people hospitalised. The flu season this year in New Zealand was relatively mild, in contrast to Australia that had one of the worst flu seasons ever. Well, even in a mild year for us, around 400 New Zealanders will die from complications with the flu. And while the very young and very old are most at risk, the flu vaccine isn't a silly idea for any of us. So often the reason for very healthy people to get the flu vaccine is not just to protect themselves or, or to reduce their time off work, but so that we don't spread it to others. That's potentially the big lesson from 1918. Measures that were supposed to save lives actually cost them. I think on balance it probably did more harm than good because it, it brought people together in crowds. You know, they queued up and they're coughing and sneezing at each other while they were waiting for the treatment. If you're sick, stay at home. Don't go to work and don't spread your bugs to others. Oh, problem, gosh. here's your problem with the flu, of course, is that you don't know you've got it when you've got it. And it, it manifests itself yeah. later on, you know? But on the same you'd be sitting in the office, I could have the flu now spreading it to you but and that, I don't even know. Thanks no? for enlightening there. No, you've already had it this year. Exactly, but I that's the thing, people like you who mm. go, 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 go and don't get, go and get it sorted early could be then infecting everyone else. Yeah, so do. the key is and when so, you get the start and it, of the it's symptoms, a, And you can see why people die of the flu. You know, people don't take the flu seriously. And no, people don't. also don't understand the difference between a cold and the flu. They all go, oh, I've got the flu. You haven't got the flu, you've got a cold. Got a cold. The flu you, is completely You disagreed different with the stats in that piece. Well, I've heard, it was so mild far this year, this year. I've heard so far this year it was a very bad flu season and it was a very bad flu season for some reason in Queensland as well. Mm. We've just heard it was mild, but because you had it, well, we'll reconsider. My